I'm Anil Kumar and here is solution of question number 10, page 146, Nelson Calculus Chapter 3.3 on Optimization. Determine the area of the largest rectangle that can be inscribed inside a semicircle with radius of 10 units. So let us first sketch and then uh, solve this particular question, right? So it's a semicircle, so let's draw a semicircle here and a rectangle inscribed that means uh, let us say that is a rectangle and its base will be along the x-axis so that is what our rectangle is what we are also given here is that the radius for the semicircle is 10 units so this point which is right there should be 10 units away any point on the semicircle will be 10 units away so let us consider a point here whose coordinates are x and y so what does that mean? It means that uh, this particular area here will be x this side, that length will also be x and this is y. Correct. So that is how the rectangle will look like. So basically we have 2x as the length and y is the width for us. Now a second question is how do you find relation between x and y? Now this is a right triangle so that gives you the relation between x and y. So what you have here is x square plus y square equals to 10 square using Pythagorean theorem and from here you can find what x is in terms of y for example so we can say x is equals to 10 square which is minus y square square root so that is what x is equal to now what we need to do is we need to find the largest rectangle area right so area is in this particular case area will be equals to 2x times y so area is 2x times y we can write x in terms of what we just found so we get area in terms of y right so we can write this as 2y times square root of uh, 10 square is 100 minus y square so that is what you get now what I will do here is I'm adopting a slightly different approach in this particular case. I'll write this function as 2 times and I will take y inside the square root, right? That is going to help me to find derivative. So it becomes y square when I take it inside. So I get 100 y square minus y to the power of 4, right? So we took this y inside the square root, giving us this particular thing. And now we have this area in terms of y we can find its derivative so the derivative of this function is so we have 2 here times half of all this to the power of minus half which is 100 y square minus y to the power of 4 square root times derivative of inside function so inside function will be 200 y minus 4 y to the power of 3 to get the idea so that is how it is going to be now we can find the critical number for critical number you know uh, a prime y should be zero right so let's find the critical number so that is zero equals two so when you equate this to zero two and two cancel the numerator should be zero correct so that is to say 200 y minus 4 y q equals to zero so let us solve this equation and find what is the value of x in this particular scenario rather y so 4y cube should be equals to uh, 200 now we can take 4y cube co common also and solve so y could be equal to 0 so one solution is y could be 0 right well that is also the extreme value so what we can do here is we can also write y should be greater than or equal to 0 and is less than or equals to 10 so that is the boundary conditions for y which will help us to check for absolute maximum so we have 4y cube equals to 200y so one of the solution is y equals to 0 the other solution will be we can cancel out y so we have y square equals to 200 over 4 and then which is 50 and that gives us y equals to square root of 50 right so we are going to take the positive value which indeed is 25 times 2 or you can write this as 5 square root 2 
So that is the value of y. If y is 5 square root 2, then what is going to be x? So from this particular expression, we can find what x is. So x will be equal to square root of 10 square is 100 minus y square, which is 50, right? So x is also equal to 5 square root 2. So both are 5 square root 2, right? Now we need to determine the area of the largest triangle. So area will be this is 2x, right? So area for for y equals to 5 square root 2, let's calculate this area, is equals to 2 times x times y. So times 5 square root 2 times 5 square root 2, right? So 5 times 5 is 25 times 2, 50. 50 times 2 is 100. So we get 100 unit square. So that is the area which is for 5 square root 2. Let us also check the boundary conditions. Area for 0 will be, if I substitute 0 for y in this particular case, in that case 0 times anything will be 0. And if I write a as equals to 10, so area 10 will also be 0 since the other factor is going to be 0. So of course the maximum area for us is 100 unit square, right? So maximum area equals to 100 unit square. So that is how we can actually find the maximum area in this particular case. I hope that helps. Thank you.